Good morning, Pastor Melissa and all of you out there who have uh, tuned in to see what's going on in the parish this week. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. You uh, made a fantastic breakfast, pancakes and bacon. Pastor John's a great cook. I only had one piece of bacon, thanks to the kids and Pastor Melissa. Um, so what's going on in the parish this week? Oh, there's so much going on. We don't even know where to start. Um, one exciting thing that's happening tonight at 7 p.m. at St. John's is our first worship planning team meeting. Um, this is an opportunity for people from all three churches to come and look at what the sermons and the worship is going to be about from from August all the way through even looking into Advent already um, to make plans for what our celebrations are going to entail. Now, do I have to be able to sing to come to that meeting tonight? <laughs> no, you don't have to be able to sing at all. Um, God has given all of us different gifts. So when we talk about worship team and worship planning, it's not just about whether you're the preacher or the musicians or a reader, um, but sometimes you may have artistic uh, talents or the ability to organize. Uh, arrange flowers in a special way, or envision um, what the sanctuary should look like. Uh, and also, you just may have a great sense of what the flow of a service should be. So if any of you have an inkling that you'd like to come and be part of planning the worship um, parish-wide, we want you to come and be able to share your gifts at the table. Well, that sounds really good, and, and also it models what uh, has been already going on in our parish. And in the parish system, um, as we grow together, uh, really we get to celebrate the gifts and graces that God has given each of the locations. But at the same time, we get to share in ministry. And I know some of that's going on already. Like we have a Bible study uh, going on as we speak at Green Mountain. Renee uh, Rada leads that, and she's invited others from the parish to join that. And I know Jane uh, is working on some projects that Grace that she wants to invite everyone. St. John's, the Band of Brothers, and other ministries here have really opened up and, and tried to invite the whole community and also members of the other locations. And so it's just going to be a really exciting few months as we learn um, you know, what it is that God wants us to do together and what it is that God wants to celebrate at each location as well. Um, and so I'm just real excited to be a part of that. Uh, one way that we're trying to get the word out about some of those events is to have a parish-wide communications team looking toward having um, a quarterly newsletter that's going to go out and it, it'll say what's going on at each of the locations and uh, invite you to consider how you'd like to be part of different ministries that are taking place all over the community. And I know that you and I have been working on our preaching plan for uh, all the way through the, the end of the year through Advent up into Christmas um, and so that's going to be uh, something really exciting for our parish. What's happening here in August? What are we going to be teaching in August? August, we're going to take a, a look back in history. We're going to go to the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament, uh, to look at Exodus. Uh, makes me think of the old uh, reggae song, Exodus, movement oh of the people. But anyway, we're going to be looking at the story of the Hebrew people as Moses has brought them out of Egypt. We're going to start there. We're going to start with the crossing of the Red Sea this week and the celebrations, the songs of Moses and Miriam and how they're thankful for what God has done to deliver them. But we're also going to work from that point backward to the beginning of Exodus to see how they ended up in captivity anyway. So it sounds like, uh, it looks like you have a little consternation about that backward movement. <laughs> You're always messing with my ADHD. <laughs> well, it's a different way. It's to... linear, but it's backward. <laughs> And so that's just going to be a struggle for me to get over, I guess. Well, but it's going to really set us up for the the concepts that we're trying to introduce in September as we look at the series that you've kind of envisioned about uh, Larry Crown. So why don't you tell us a little bit about September? Larry Crown is a Hollywood, not a blockbuster. It is actually <laughs> bombed at the movie <laughs> theater. But it's Tom Hanks and Julia Roberts who are blockbuster actors. Uh, but anyway, Larry Crown, the character, goes back to college uh, later in life. And so he's been out of the school scene for 20 or 30 years. And so it just goes through the typical struggles that you would have um, in getting uh, acclimated or reacclimated to academia. And, and so um, things are much different than what he expected. Uh, but certain things, I'm sure, are the same. And so we're going to look at that from the perspective of someone uh, coming back to faith or coming to faith for the first time. And um, or, or even a more specific example, someone that's been away from the church for 20 or 30 years, if they would come back into 
um, the church worship service on Sunday, for example, um, what would be different and what would be the same? Or should it be different? Or should it be drastically different? Or should it be something very familiar and, and something the same as what it would have been 30 years ago? And so have some discussion around that and see what the scriptures say and and uh, how has the church changed in terms of mission and service and, and faith in general? And how has it stayed the same? And, and what is God calling us to do here in the parish um, in relation to that? And so I look forward to that. And one of the ways you can stay um, involved and um, interact with us is through Facebook and Twitter. And so we'd love to hear what you have to say about uh, the exodus and about moving back into the community and certainly when we get closer to Larry Crown, what you have to say about the church. And so be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook and our webpage for more information and to be in a dialogue and conversation with us. NCCP UMC is the name for all of that, Facebook, Twitter, and the, and the Internet. And as always, we'd love to see you on Sunday morning at any of the churches. Uh, so check out the worship schedule, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. God bless. God bless.